A local charity is close to a milestone this morning. Feed My Starving Children will pack its one billionth with a B meal. Mm. Nina Moyni live at their headquarters in Coon Rapids. You're packing some up yourself, Nina. It's a great morning. Jamie, you know I love nothing more than a hairnet. I know, because it means one, good. you don't have to do your hair. They have colorful <laughs> ones here. We're at the, the Coon Rapids site, but you have sites uh, across the metro. This is Lisa Ellis, who is the site supervisor here. Lisa, tell us, for anyone who doesn't know, you guys have been around since 1987, but what is Feed My Starving Children? Yeah, Feed My Starving Children is a nonprofit Christian food aid organization. Mm -hmm. And we package and send nutritionally um, packed meals um, to 70 countries around the world. Well, I saw a lot of the ones uh, on the board said that they're going to Haiti. Mm -hmm. There are different countries that you specialize in, but it's not necessarily emergency yeah. response, right? Because this is an issue that goes on throughout the world all the time, not just after a great disaster. So can you tell us a little bit about what is in these little baggies that everyone's packing up? Six meals, right? Yep, six meals per bag. Um, what you're looking at is vitamins, vegetables, dehydrated vegetables, soy protein, and rice. And each of those four ingredients goes into the bag um, and gets cooked up and become one cup servings. Very cool. And so reaching a billion, I mean, that's amazing. That's helping so many people. So so what comes up? What's after this? What's the goal after this? Just to get more people on board? or? Yeah, we're always looking for more volunteers to help us pack the meals. Um, we've had 4.2 million volunteers um, in the course of our history that have helped us pack a billion meals. So we're always looking for more volunteers. Um, One thing that was neat that I read is that you can have even as young as a five-year-old can come here. And you said that you also have opportunities opportunities uh, for older folks to come and maybe they can sit down, they don't have to stand the whole time. So tell me, uh, what, what are some of the other groups that you see a lot? Um, we see a lot of different organizations, corporations, business groups, schools come, youth groups, um, just a variety of, sure. of ages and backgrounds. But you also take a little bit of time to learn beforehand, right, before the packing. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. Yeah, part of our mission is just helping educate people on, you know, the different places where our food is going, as well as um, malnutrition in general. Okay, great. So a uh, learning opportunity, all ages can come by. Uh, we'll, we'll come back in about another hour and we'll tell you how many boxes we've been able to get through this morning. I feel like I was slowing it down. Look over here, our lovely volunteers who got up so early with us this morning. They're pros. She does the double. Do the double. We'll get her. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they're excellent. Thank you so much, Lisa. Yeah. I'm going to get back to work. We'll be back, though, in an hour. That double, that was something else, Nina. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Sure. It's awesome that you said you've done that with your kids. I have, yeah. The the uh, technology, actually, the science that goes into that food mix that they make is pretty remarkable. Mm. It was created by people here in the Twin Cities where they're trying to come up. How can we come up with the most nutritious food mm. uh, that travels well? Right. And, and that is it in that pouch. It's really mm. interesting. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. I, I, like yeah. how they, I like how they make it so easy for community members to volunteer mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. In junior high and high school, I remember going there for field That's trips. I just, I just said that. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. makes total sense. You would have too. Yeah. Very yeah. fun. Same school. Yeah.